Uber is rolling out another new program, which I'm calling City Center. It's going to be piloted in 10 markets, and it's coming out March 6th. In this video, I'm going to share with you the details, uh, what it is, where it's going to be, and at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you whether I think it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down for drivers like you and me. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy, and today I'm coming to you from a Airbnb in San Diego. I uh, heard about this program last night and I was asked to make a video, so it's like 6 in the morning and I'm having some coffee. And let's jump right in. So number one, what is this new feature called City Center? Well, let me give you a few quick tips here. So. The first uh, tip is if you drive in the city center of the city that you're in, you'll get a 5% boost to your earnings. So it's kind of like a, a surge. However, if you drive outside of your city center, you'll face a 10% decrease in earnings. Head to your city center and know it's busy times. So if you're like me, this is very reminiscent of when both Uber and Lyft uh, told us that they were giving us uh, a better pay structure and they were increasing the amount we would make per minute but reducing the amount per mile. This is a very eerie feeling just like that. But let's continue. So this is what Uber said. We are testing raising prices near city centers where it's busier and harder to get a ride while decreasing prices in surrounding areas including in neighborhoods with fewer transportation options to help riders request more trips. The goal of this pilot is to improve reliability in the busiest parts of these cities while making it more affordable to use Uber outside the city center. And that is from Uber. So this really begs the question, what are you defining as the city center? Let's go on. Number two, what are the 10 test markets that are gonna be getting this new feature on March 6th? Well, what you're seeing right here is the list. Charlotte, Phoenix, Kansas City, Indianapolis, Honolulu, Cleveland, Charleston, Richmond, Nashville, Grand Rapids. So there's been a lot of changes to the app in California due to AB5. This is one case where California markets are not included. And I, for one, am saying, great. This is not something I want to come to San Francisco. And I'll tell you why at the end of the video. Number three, so what should be your strategies if you're in a market that has the city center? Well, obviously you want to get to the city center as much as you can because that's where the rates are going to be higher. Problem is, everybody's going to be going to the city center because that's where the rates are going to be higher. The city center typically has more traffic, uh, more pedestrians, more stoplights, so you can't drive fast. Remember, we make the most money when we're going 70 miles per hour on the freeway, uh, racking up those miles. So that's the real issue with this, is even if you get to the city center, you're gonna get short trips, trips that um, you know, have a lot of traffic in them. The ideal scenario would be to be in the city center, set your destination filter for a long trip like to the airport or to another city, and hope, hope that you can get a ride that will take you a long distance from the city center because then you're gonna get that 5% bonus. Number four, an analysis. So this really comes down to what are they defining as the city center? If the city center is a small little area and that's the only place you're gonna get the 5% bump and everything else is gonna be a minus 10%, uh, kind of like a penalty, kind of like a surcharge, kind of like a tariff, um, this is not really, this is really not good. Not good at all. Here, I'll, I'll show you a map of San Francisco. So what you're seeing here is what's considered the city of San Francisco. San Francisco is seven miles by seven miles, 49 square miles, and it's uh, surrounded by water on three sides. And the city center is what I've got there highlighted in red. That's like what's called uh, FIDI, the financial district, the downtown area. However, you can get rides in San Francisco on this entire map all day long. And if they're gonna make that the city center, and then everything else, which is the majority of my driving, is in all these other areas, I'm going to see a basically like a 10% cut in pay. 
um, offset by the few rides that I get uh, from the city center. So, so much depends on how they're defining the city center, and we won't really know that until we start to see some maps, and we should see those over the next week, and we'll keep you updated on the status of what is uh, defined as the city center. Key takeaways of this new feature I'm calling city center. I don't like it. I'm giving it a this. I don't like it for a lot of reasons. Uh, first of all, it's forcing you, it's, it's, uh, the market pressure is now to get more people into the city center, which in my market is already really congested. More cars, that means you're going to wait longer to get a ride at the 5% uh, surge price. Um, more traffic, um, the city center, like I said, you got more pedestrians, you got to drive more carefully, and you just can't get any speed going because there's so many, so many lights. So. That's, that's, what they're, that's what Uber is trying to get you to because that's where more passengers are. But everything else outside of the city center is minus 10%. That's not good. That's significant. That means, um, that means unless half of your business is in the city center, right, and half is, is outside of the city center, you're still going to lose because the trips you're going to do where the city center is are going to be slower trips and they're going to be shorter trips. Whereas the trips that are outside of the city center, going into other towns, that's where you're going to get on the freeway. That's where you're going to be able to drive fast, and that's where you're going to make the most money. But now those trips are all getting a minus 10% surge. So I don't like this at all. I'll be really curious to see the map. Now, if they come out and the map for San Francisco is the entire 7x7, seven seven, great. Then I've basically seen a 5% pay raise. But why would Uber do that? Think. What's Uber thinking? Cut expenses. This is yet another, uh, I, I think, uh, another uh, plan, a plot, a way for Uber to cut down how much they pay us, the drivers, while also uh, improving their service by having more cars available um, in the high demand small city center. So that's my take. I say no, but uh, let's see what the map says. I could be wrong. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jay Crater, and uh, I appreciate you being here. And you go out and have a great day, and be safe out there.